What if we change the join order? Okay, so that's a next uh, thing we can measure. Now, let's look at the cost of this one. We're gonna scan reserves this time, that's a thousand. And for each page full of reserves that matches on boat ID 100, we scan sailors, which is 500 items. So how many page fulls of reserves match boat ID 100? We said there were 100 boats and that reservations were equally distributed across boats. So we would expect one out of 100 uh, reserves tuples to be for boat ID 100. So if reserves is 1,000 pages, then 1 one hundredth of reserves is 10 pages. So the total here is 1,000 to scan reserves, and then 10 times scanning sailors, which is 500. Overall cost, 6,000 IOs. So this is an enormous savings just by changing the join order, by exploiting commutativity. OK. Now, we had this problem before that when we pushed the selection down on the right-hand side of the nested loops join, it didn't do us any good. But what about if we put a materialization operator above that selection, and we did the nested loops on the result of the selection, rather than doing the nested loops doing selection on the fly each time? That would seem to save us uh, the problem that we're going to scan sailors for every page full of boats. Now we're just going to scan the materialized result for every page full of boats. So let's look at the cost. We're going to scan reserves, that's 1,000 IOs. We're going to scan sailors once, that's 500 IOs. And we're going to materialize this temp table T1, all right, which is some number of IOs to write the output of the selection. And we know the selection is about half of the tuples in sailors. So that should be a write of 250 blocks. And then for each page full of reserves, we're going to scan that resulting materialized operator, which is 250 big. So the total cost is 1,000 plus 500 to scan sailors, plus 250 to write the materialized table, plus, and here's the loop part, 10 times scanning through the materialized result of 250. Adding that all up, we get a total cost of 4250 IOs. So actually we did save ourselves a little bit of cost by doing this materialization. Now let's try flipping the join order again, back to where it was before, with this materialization trick and see what we get. So now sailors is on the left, reserves is on the right, but we're going to do the materialization of reserves. What's the cost? Let's walk it through. We're gonna scan sailors, that's 500. We're gonna scan reserves once, that's 1,000, and materialize this temp table T1, which has only boat ID equals 100. And then for each page full of sailors, we're gonna scan this T1. So how many pages are there where boat ID equals 100? Well, we said before, that that is 10 pages. It's 1 one hundredths of the pages in reserves. So this is 500 to scan sailors, 1,000 to scan reserves, 10 to write the materialization, and then 250 times 10 to do the looping of the outer over the materialized inner. Add that all up, cost is 4,010 IOs. So it's even a little bit cheaper than the other join order. 